Okay, so this is attempt number two. Um, the ROM actually crashed the first time I was um, playing. So we're gonna go back to where it crashed even though I caught a Pokemon and now I probably can't catch this Pokemon. But oh well, we are just gonna go train up Pidgey. <laughs> because like, really, it's annoying. So I had you guys vote online what you guys wanted me to talk about in this episode of Heart Gold. And a lot of people wanted me to talk about mental illness. And I feel like it's because of the recent tragedy in Las Vegas. And I really do feel very strongly about what mental illness is. Now, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about anybody who is bipolar, who is schizophrenic, who has depression. I'm talking about a range of them. But keep in mind, I'm not talking about it to be mean. What I'm saying is here, when we look at mental illness, there's so much stigma. Like... We stigmatize the crap out of this. It is absolutely atrocious how much we stigmatize it. And I feel like a lot of these people who need help, who are actively sick, they don't get the help because they're afraid of the stigma. And I don't feel that's right for anybody. Like, no, it's not okay to sit there and say, oh, well, this person is mentally ill, but we're not gonna do anything about it, no you need to do something about it. You need to help them out because they can't help themselves out. And I feel like we need to battle what we see as mental illness. I feel, feel like we need to redefine this because otherwise the stigma is gonna lead to a lot of people dying. It's gonna be lead to a lot of major issues in the world. And I feel like this is something that we as, okay, I'm gonna save it here just because I ended up crashing like right above this. So just in case this makes me crash again. Okay. I don't know what happened last time. It's just like the screen went black and it was like, ha, just kidding. You're not gonna be able to do that. So we're gonna get through this tower. Uh, maybe get an evolution this episode. It, his head looks really, really weird. But like, it's very hard to see somebody and be like, oh, they have a mental illness. We need to treat them because you don't see the mental illness. You don't see the mental scars. And I feel like a lot of times we forget that when we look at people and we're like, oh, well, they're just normal. And let me tell you from what I know about mental illness, like, because I did a lot of research in this in medical history. Um, when you look at somebody who is mentally ill, who needs that extra help, it's not like one thing that you can do to help them. You have to support them in every way and you have to be very understanding. Like my grandmother, she didn't tell my mother until almost her deathbed that when my mother was born, she had postpartum depression, which is baby blues. So it wasn't something that was known and I feel absolutely horrific that my grandmother didn't feel comfortable enough to talk to us about that because she was so embarrassed about it. I don't feel like that's right for anybody. And I feel, I guess, Guns can be an issue, but the bigger issue here is mental health. How are you dealing with these people? Like, what are you doing to help them out? What are you doing to make sure that they don't end up getting lost in the societal cracks? Like, what can we do to help them out? And we really have to evaluate that as a society. Like, what are we doing to help our mentally ill? What are we doing to help those who really do need our help? And making sure that they're not subject to becoming like a scammers victim or even a murder victim or a murderer themselves like think about it this way if somebody's in a break they're not themselves they're not the normal person they would normally be and unfortunately as it is a lot of times people ignore it <laughs> unfortunately these people get thrown to the side because they think oh well these are the weirdos of society we don't really have to pay attention to them when in reality, these are people who are everyday people. They're brothers, their mothers, their fathers, their sisters, their family members. And they get lost in the shuffle of society. It's like they don't matter to us because there's something wrong with them that we can't see and therefore we can't define. Like, is it fair at all to them? <laughs> no, it's not. We need to work on ourselves, understanding and being more compassionate towards these people and trying to help them out. A lot of the thing, when I, when, I, when I look at gun issues, I look at what's causing it. What is the major cause of these mass shootings? Like, what do these people have in common? And yes, it's their ability to get to guns, but it's also their inability to get to mental health. And that's what drives me nuts, is like, 
there was a senator up in, um, I want to say Virginia. He tried to get his son mental health evaluations, but he just couldn't because th they said he couldn't um, put his son in for 24 hours. And the son ends up attacking and stabbing the father. Like, seriously, <laughs> what the hell? Why are we still saying that it's only a gun issue and we're not addressing the other half of the argument? Like, why aren't we addressing the mental health aspect? Why aren't we addressing when somebody who is mentally ill does have a breakdown and we have to go in and help them? Is it something that under, like, bad that you can't even say, look, sometimes you have to look at the mental health of these people? Like, no. That's not how this situation should work. And it's like crazy to me that like people are like, oh well, we don't have to look at the mental health. Their mental health doesn't matter to us. It should matter. They should matter. I don't understand why people say that these people shouldn't matter. It's ridiculous. It's crazy to me. It's injustice in so many different ways because if you look at the people who don't get treated, a lot of times it's minorities. And yes, actually being fully honest, the African American community has better mental health treatment than any other community I've ever studied. And I hate being like that scientific about it, but it's true. They have the best, best mental health because you know what they do in their community? If somebody is suffering from a mental illness, the whole community comes together and they try to help that person out. It's not just like one person trying to help them out. It's not putting them into a mental hospital and forgetting about them. No, it's a whole community coming out and saying to the family, okay, we are here, we support you, and we're gonna help you get through this. Whereas in other communities, a lot of times these people are thrown into mental asylum and nobody pays attention to them. Nobody goes and sees them. They just lose themselves. And then when these people get out of the asylums, the medicine they're taking is very, very strong medicine. So it makes you feel like crap. So what ends up happening is they stop taking the medicine because they're like, oh, I'm better now. I don't need the medicine. I hate that you just hypnotized me, great. Um, and they're like, oh, I don't need the medicine now. I don't need this. I'll be okay without it. And no, they're not. It, they're not okay. And it's not okay for them to stop the medicine. Like, that's what's crazy to me. Hold on real quick. I'm gonna walk and get a drink real quick. All right, I'm back. Ooh, yay, I learned Ember. And I'm glad I didn't crash this time around. Oh, so that's how you go up through it. So, yes. Um, also, sorry this is coming out on Monday. I just got really, really busy because I was like, you know what, uh, the FSU games this weekend, it was a big FSU Miami game. The end of that game, I was not very happy because, um, yeah, if you didn't see it, FSU lost. Let's go get this. I found an escape rope. Do, 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 do. Um, and then Ave and I were over and hanging out all day. We recorded another podcast, which I highly suggest you guys check out. This one is about digital blackface, which I want you guys to check out and see. It's really, really interesting to see. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I enjoy We both enjoy doing the podcast. We just have to come up with a name. I, I'm very, I'm thinking of a few. Like, I'm not sure. Because there's a few different names I want to do, but I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, let me keep battling with you, because I don't feel like switching out and getting hypnotized. Because I think Gus would take you out. I don't know. Okay. That was bad. Ooh, that was a bad hit on me. And my internet just went out, it looks like. The hell? I have to call Comcast in a second. Switch. So hopefully this is going out Monday if my internet's back up, because if it's not, I'm gonna be very upset.
Because this will not be fun. So yeah. At least we're gonna get everything done. Technical machine flash, yay. We can teach that to somebody later. Well, my TV's still on, so I'm really confused by the fact that it's saying, oh, your internet's out. Escape rope, use. Is it really? I don't know, let me see if I can reconnect. Yeah, it connected. I don't know why, it just like knocked, randomly knocked me off. Oh well. Let me also say, because I don't want to redo that again. Save state, there we go. We just slave and saw one all the time. Yes, let's go. Got 10 more minutes to fill, right? Because a 20 minute let's play, that's what you have to do, right? So I'm hoping also sub boxes aren't broken when I go to upload this later on. Um, I think it's going to be very easy. If I don't have any evolutions or anything, all I have to use is the last layout. Change the question of the day and see what the answer is. Which I'm very curious about what I'm going to do for question of the day. Because I haven't even thought of that. Okay, this is definitely different. I guess I can skip everybody and fight you, which I plan on doing because I don't like fighting people. All right, let's go. Probably gonna get my butt handed to me, but oh well, let's try it. I just wanna see what it's like. Okay, you have a level nine, I have a level 12. Let's do this. I think I can do it. But yeah, um, especially with younger kids, like mental health is huge to me because I've had students in the past who were depressed and I did have a student successfully commit suicide and it killed me because I wasn't there for her and I didn't read the signs correctly. So I'm a big advocate of if you know somebody is having that issue, if you know one of your friends is contemplating suicide, Tell an adult. Treat it like a medical emergency. Don't wait until the last minute. Don't wait until you feel like it may be too late. Tell us immediately. Especially if you're in high school. You've got to tell us immediately because the quicker we know, the faster we can help them out. And that's the truth. Is If somebody came to me and said, oh look, so and so is depressed, I would have pulled them aside and said, hey, do you want to talk? Is there something I can do to help you? Is there some way I can um, make your day better? Because that's the thing, like, yeah, it may not have worked with her, but at least that shows the effort that she matters and she still does matter to me. I am, um, I'm a huge advocate to make sure I don't ever see another child die. I, it kills me, it really does kill me that I was unable to save her. And it's hard for me to talk about. So two years later, I still adore this child. Sweet child, I saw every single day. She came in with a smile on her face. So it hurts. It really does. But from that I learned, you don't judge people on what may be mentally wrong with them. Because the moment you judge them is the moment you lose them. And these people need compassion more than you know. And the more compassion you're able to give them, the more love and affection you're able to show them, the better off they are. The more help you can do. And it's a huge thing to me. I will always preach that. Okay, I guess I have to answer. Or the answers for me. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'll figure it out in a minute. Think he's gonna be in the city somewhere? Yay! I think that guy was there too.
I also have to figure out how to put the badge in. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this episode I'll have the badge in. If I don't, it'll be the next episode. Just because I want to make sure I have this out on Monday. So... Uh, Team Rocket, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see, what's up here? Let's talk to people real quick. I collect Pokemon, do you have a spell? No, I don't want to trade. Maybe later if I get one. Um, trying to remember where this guy is. Maybe he's here? What's in here? Or is this just the school? It's just the school. Maybe on the way out I'll run into him. Are you here? Okay, no. Where the heck is this guy? You know what? I give up. We can get the Togepi egg later. Figure it out later. Uh, do I go here? Is that where I go? If you can't tell I it's been ages. Oh, okay, this is on no no. That's not the way I want to go. I sort of remember this game, but not entirely. So this is going to be kind of tricky. Pseudo Widow! That is Pseudo Widow for sure. I know exactly which Pokemon that is. And I need the watering can. Okay, let's go down here. We'll eventually figure this out. Maybe for this episode. Let's keep going. Hey, what do you say? Hey, what do you say? No, I don't feel like playing with that. 32. Well, at least we get another berry. It's a yellow berry, apricot, whatever. We'll eventually figure our way out. I still have like five minutes left, so. Uh, maybe it is. Okay, wait, what's up here? Is it only the tower that's up here? Yeah, it's only the tower. Okay. Then if you go this way, you run into the area. Okay, that's not it. Okay, maybe it's this way. Wait, hold on. Uh, Poke gear. Go to map. Okay, so I have to go south. I think I know where to go now. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Eventually I'll figure it out. It just may take me a few minutes. 32. Okay, I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, definitely. Pokemon. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go to see this guy. Okay. Well, we'll get the egg and then I'll end off the episode. Now I'll go a little bit further. Yeah, might as well. Hi, am I supposed to talk to you? Good evening. I have a package for you. Here you go. Super potions. Okay. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Momo. This is from Professor Elm. Yay, I get the egg. 
Do 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 do. Okay, so I have to add the egg in. Yeah, Momo is here. Momo is here to save the day. Yes, of course, I will take care of the egg. All right, hold on, let me also buy some heal balls. I'll just buy one. Yeah. So yes. Was that a geisha girl? Yay, do we get to talk to one of the geishas? Yay, that must be the egg. Yay. I love the geisha girls. I remember them from the original game, which yes, is amazing. All right, let's see what's in the grass. And then I may probably end off because I don't want to go too long because my computer is old. I need to get a new one so bad. Oh, it's a bell sprout. Uh, tackle. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the trade. I'm gonna catch the bell sprout and then I'm gonna trade it. Why not? Because what's cooler, an onyx or a bell sprout? I don't know, but there's so many cool grass types, so yes. No. Let's go do the trade and then we'll end off the, on the episode with the trade. Because why not? We explored this town very, very well. And I feel like this is a good stopping point. And the next time we'll go to the next village. I just need to sit down and like bulk record these because my problem is, is like I didn't record a lot in advance. So yeah. Yay, bell sprout. Bye bye, bell sprout. That's probably gonna be my thumbnail. <laughs> or that. I don't know which. Both are really, really cool. And we got Onyx. Yay. We got Rocky. All right, let's look really quickly at Rocky and then we're going to end off. So, Rocky, he's level six, summary. He is a hasty nature, loves to eat. Okay. Wait, where are your attacks? Oh, there they are. Not bad attacks, so I'm not gonna complain too much. So I'm very happy. Well, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.